Let's take a look at the Material Design Toolbar in more detail. So we've imported the MD Toolbar module from Angular Material. We've also added it to the imports and exports of our shared module. At this moment in time, we're then using it inside of our app component.html and we've also added the color primary attribute. Let's take a look at how we can add another raw to our toolbar. Let's add an MD toolbar raw component and then we'll add a span which simply says second raw. If we save our file, you'll notice that we do get the second raw inside of our toolbar. We could simply do this again, and then we'd have a third row, a fourth row, and as many as you want. So one thing about the material toolbar is that it does not force any positioning of the content. So if we wanted to have our content perhaps on the left with an action on the right, we could do that with a simple flexbox. Let's create another span that simply says delete. I'm going to zoom out of the project. And if we wanted that delete to be all the way to the right, we could create another span, but this time give it a class such as fill space. And we could define the fill space class on our app component .css. If we simply add a flex of one, one auto, you'll see our delete button or delete text at this point does get shoved over to the right hand side. If we head back over to our app component or HTML, we can also change the color of our toolbar. For example, we could use the accent color. And at this moment in time, this would give us the pink we could also use worn to give us a red color. Of course, this can be changed as you can theme material design applications relatively easy. So that's about it for the MD toolbar.